Here's a quick tutorial on how to create a time-lapse video using images from a Sony FDR-X3000 action camera. Now first off, I've created a, a bash script that you can download. I'll have this link in the description below. You just download the file. Then once you've got the file, it needs to go in this folder. Root BIN. As you see, I've already copied my file into here. Once you're in here, you have to right click over here at the side. Actions open as root. Because we have to make this um, file executable. And to do that, we have to type in this command, chmod plus x the file which is 3000.sh done this means that we can run this file from any folder ok out of here now let's go here and to sony fdr now I've transferred the files off the camera over onto my hard drive, the whole folder, I just copied it, and there it is. This is what the actual camera created for these files. So we right click over here, action, open terminal. We run my script by typing in 3000.sh. Now this might not work first up. If it comes up with an error that says permission denied, put this in the front of it. Okay. Type that in. Password. And now this is my script running. It's running. Um, it's asking for two options. What do you want your output to be down here? So we will put in we will put in two and we'll leave it at the default 50 frames per second. Number three. Okay. Now what is it? It's doing it's resizing the images. Here we have the original. From the, directly from the camera so this is the original image 3840 by 2160 pixels I assume this is 4k and I'll tell my script I want it to be 1080p so now the script is create re, uh, creating temporary files, and here we are. Here we go. So it's turning this one into this one, 1080p. And it's got to do that for every single photo or image and we just wait till it finishes so we go back over here and that will probably have to go all the way into the middle to say it's done 600 images now i just want to say i don't like the case on the camera i intend to use this 
action camera without the case. To me, the case the case introduces another um, possibility where the image can be further downgraded if the, if the um, front of the case is not clean. And if you look at this picture here, to me that's the case has added a bit of a blur into it. Let's go full screen. Yeah. See, that looks blurry to me. So the next time lapse I'll do it be a bit, it would be without the case. So let's get back here. We're doing nearly there. It's got to go to about here. I love this camera. I think it's an awesome camera. The quality is seriously it's outstanding. Okay. Once all the resizing done, it'll automatically make the MP4. Now, if you um, set your time lapse settings on your action camera to two seconds and stop after 600 frames, it'll produce a 12 second video. That's a 1080p at 50 frames per second, which is what I prefer to create my uh, time lapses in. Okay, here's the video it's making. And once it's finished, it's going to delete all these temporary files. we go up here done finished and here's our time lapse I've got it on repeat here we go And let's see it full size. Okay, thank you for watching.